Hi, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the BMP280 pressure sensor module. I got this one off eBay from Survey 2014. Uh, it was $1.67 uh, in Australian. So here's the actual BMP sensor. They should all come in a bag like that with the uh, six pins. I'll open it up and show it to you. Not all the sensors are gonna look the same. Um, because it depends on the eBay seller and my one says GY-B11 but it could be a BM, depends on which one you get. You should see the six uh, ports there, VCC, Ground, SCL, SDA, CSB and SDO. We're only going to be using the first four ports for this one. So now you need to solder the pins on. You can solder it on whichever way you want. I'm soldering it on so you can actually see the pins and uh, which port they are. Just excuse my crappy soldering skills. So now we're finished soldering. You can see the four ports we're going to be using for this video, the VCC, Ground, SCL and SDA. Now for this video I'm going to be using an Arduino Nano. You can also use an Arduino Uno and I'll be showing you which ports you need to use. Um, so this one has a 3v3 port that you can use for power, but we'll be using a 5 volt and the A4 and A5 ports we're going to be using as well as the ground. You'll also need uh, four cables. I'm keeping mine stuck together just so it's easier to plug into the sensor. So here we have an Arduino Nano pinout diagram. You can see on the right here that it has SCL marked next to the A5 pin and it has SDA marked next to the A4 pin. So those are the two ones we'll be using here. So here's another diagram of the uh, Arduino Uno. And you can see on the bottom left here, it has SDA and SCL marked next to the A4 and A5 pins too. So if you wanted to use an Uno instead of a Nano for this sensor, you can use those two pins instead. So you can see here, I've plugged in my four cables from the sensor to the Arduino Nano. You can see I've got my VCC, my yellow VCC cable going into the 5 volt port there. I've got my red ground cable going into the ground port on the Nano. I've got my brown SCL cable going into A5 port and then the black SDA cable going into the A4 port. So once that's all done, you just need to plug it into the computer. Your Arduino should light up, but your sensor won't because there's no LED on it. And so now we just need to install the SparkFun library we'll be using for this. There's a website I'll put in the description here. Uh, just go down to the GitHub library and example code button, click on that. Should bring you to the GitHub page. Click on the right where it says clone or download and click download zip. Save that to your desktop somewhere. And then open up your Arduino program click on sketch and then click include library and then add zip library and then find where you downloaded the zip file. Just open it and it'll install the library. You can check and see if it installed it by clicking on sketch, include library and you should see the spark file one down the bottom. So now just click on tools and make sure that the right port is selected for your Arduino and then open up the serial monitor that's what we'll be using to get all of our data back from the sensor. Now just click on File and click on Examples and then down the bottom you should see the SparkFun library. So click on I2C underscore read all data and maximize that. Now go down and find where it says the I2C address and change it to 76 instead of 77. And then just upload that to the Arduino. Give it a minute. And all the data should appear on the monitor on the right hand side there. There you go. So you're getting the temperature, the pressure and the altitude. The relative humidity is for a different sensor that the Spark Fun Library is also for. So you might be getting that. Um, now I've found that the altitude uh, can be pretty accurate within about 50 centimeters. So you'll see it fluctuate a little bit. And now if I lift up the sensor, you'll see it goes up to about 138 and then I put it back down again and it'll go down to like 136 again. So it's very noticeable if you're lifting up the sensor and putting it back down again. 
If this video helped you out at all, please give it a like. Also, if you think I missed anything with this sensor, please let me know down below. Thanks for watching.